Hey guys, Amy here, and today I'm going to show you how to pick your Asian yard long green beans. Stay tuned. <laughs> all right guys so as you can tell this is our swing set garden and we got our asian yard lung green beans already producing um so what i'm going to show you today is different things um take a look here all right so after the flowers fall off you're going to have something that looks like this they're long, super skinny. You can pick them like this and eat them. Doesn't matter. Next, they'll get a little bit longer. And you'll notice they'll start getting fatter. This one's almost ready. This one here would be the next stage. They start to get a little bit lighter. And as you can tell, the thickness is plump. You want to pick these beans when they are the size of a number two pencil. See how it fits like a, a pencil? That's when you want to pick these. Now, you can pick them when they get this big. As you can tell, they are fatter they are still going to be good. This this one is the perfect size. This one's a little bit more bigger. Now, I do let a few of these go to seeds. And as you can tell, when they start to go to seed, you see how they get like an hourglass shape in between the beans? And you could also tell the coloring difference. It gets lighter and lighter the older they are, the lighter green they're going to be. Now, I will warn you with the Asian yard lung green beans, ants love them. There's some flowers with an ant on them. Here's some in bloom, some flowers. That's a flower getting ready to pop out. This is a vine you can weave. So I'll go in and I'll, I'll take these runners and I'll weave them in with the uh, bamboo. As you can tell, there's a bunch up here too. Now, when they start to go to seed, they will then turn brown. I pick them when they are brown so they can finish drying in my house. Another thing I will warn you with the ants. Um, because I am sensitive to bug bites. The ants will always be on these because they are tending, one tending to the plant and also tending to aphids. Aphids, when you first start, will be near the bottom. And I just do the natural way. I just blast them off with water. I don't try to, you know, do any, um, anything uh, like uh, chemicals there's but with ants on them I'm not too worried I just go like this and they disappear but I will tell you start up top work your way because as you're flicking you don't want ants falling on you <laughs> so start at the top and work your way from the bottom now the way I pick these there's two ways I do this. I get scissors and I cut them. Do not cut this, this main thing here, because these beans will continuously grow more stems for more beans. So this part right here, you want to leave. Now, one of the things I do is I will hold this stem and I will twist and just do it slowly. See how I'm twisting? Since like I'm holding the camera. And then, boop, there you go. And see, you leave that stem which is producing the next set of beans. See those two little pods there? 
And there you have it. This bean. Hold on. Ah! It's as long as my arm. <laughs> so that is how we tend and pick with our Asian <clears throat> yard long green beans. And look at that, isn't that pretty? Look at all these runners. Yeah, see, what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll pick all the beans first because sometimes the beans, the runners will get tangled up in the beans like this and you gotta unweave the beans. Um, for somebody short like me, it's a little bit of a chore. Sometimes I'll get Donald to do it. But there's Donald. He's uh, taking care of the bananas. We got a banana racks over there that came up. So, and just have a, yourself a basket. So I'll stick them in there. Yeah, he's uh, going to trim the bloom off of that banana over there so the rack will perform. So I am just gonna go ahead and start working on these and as the vines get bigger and bigger you're going to get more i mean you can tell they're the swing set works great for them i'm so if you got to grow them and you don't have a lot of room definitely get a trellis i would recommend if you have a small place and you have to grow vertically do one stock maybe two because i mean you can see it hasn't even started to go crazy yet. I know the peppers are doing good. Did you get the bloom? Got it all. Nice. Yeah, that one's ready to stick right there. <laughs> But as you can tell, it's really easy to fix the runners. And um, that's all you really gotta do. And then just inspect everything. Make sure it's uh, you know, the size of a number two pencil. And if you don't have scissors or anything, just make sure you flick the ants off, hold that stem, and then slowly twist. And it comes right off. And then that'll be ready to uh, produce the next set of beans in a few days. I must ask you a question. Oh my God. <laughs> this is what it looks like when the seeds are getting ready to pop out of the seed pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry inside. I am, or I should say, I always try to let a few things go to seed if I want to plant them again for next year. And we've had a really good success rate with the Asian yard long green beans and being able to save the seeds and then regrow them again. <laughs>